Oh, Mike, I like the comment from Trevor Lawrence, number one overall pick, generational talent, number one player in high school, number one player in college, supposed to be a foundational piece for Jacksonville under the Urban Meyer administration that lasted 13 games. And you know, I think about Trevor Lawrence still, nothing has changed. My opinion has not changed about him, his talents. I've seen enough of Trevor Lawrence in this uneven, unremarkable, sad sack of a season. I've still seen enough. Four interceptions last week for Trevor Lawrence. I've still seen a great, really talented, really promising quarterback. And I think he's going to be fine uh, going forward. Out of all the quarterbacks taken in the first round, I know how Mac Jones is balling out, likely to be the offensive player of the year, offensive rookie of the year. I think Trevor Lawrence is better than all the quarterbacks uh, who, who were taken after him. So he, he was taken number one. He should have been taken number one. If I'm redrafting, I'm taking him number one again. You know, with that said, I, I think a lot of people look at these, these seasons, and I, I've read this a lot today. Oh, it, it's, it's too bad for Trevor Lawrence. It's a wasted season. He's going to have to come didn't win in a game again. His year. Yeah, it's a wasted season. He have to come in again uh, for, with another offensive coordinator, or another head coach. Yeah. He's going to restart. No, I think this has been a good introduction. This is a good introduction for him. Now, sometimes you have that. You have the Mac Jones experience. You come in, stable mm -hmm. organization, Hall of Fame mm -hmm. head coach. They drop you into a situation. The infrastructure is all good. You just plug and play and you do your thing and you look like you've been mm -hmm. there all along. That's mm -hmm. that's a learning experience. Peyton Manning playing the entire year, throwing a bunch of picks, but also a bunch of touchdown yeah. passes. They win three sure. games. But I think this is valuable too. Because no this question. is an introduction. It's it's a backwards introduction to the NFL. It's it's the worst side of the NFL. This is hell. Right. This is how bad it could be. Right. It's probably not right. going to be worse than this. So for Trevor yeah. Lawrence, if he's not caught up in the stats, I think this is a good I intro like that to what could happen. To what could happen. Sure. Uh, what could happen for him? No, and, and he's listen, be good, uh, he's had a. And I don't mean to take anything away from him, but he's had something of a charmed life, and and this is a this is a nice view of how the other half lives. And if anybody is built to withstand it from a character standpoint, by all accounts, it seems to be Trevor Lawrence, um, because he got a crash course in. I guess almost being co-CEO like he's you could hear him using his voice more to kind of say hey this ain't how we doing this you know this, this is not this is this isn't right like he started to publicly challenge some of this uh, this chaos uh, in recent weeks and and, uh, and I'm sure that um, you know endeared him to his uh, to his teammates as a young guy understanding hey you know I, I got to take ownership of the situation even if ownership is a little slow to make a change here. Um, but let me say this about Trevor and, and, and even though again people who have loyal viewers or listeners uh, of this show understand that a you called it from day one took me a while to see it, but I've long ago seen that Urban Meyer had to go and reason number one why he had to go is Jersey number one six and the number one overall pick and that was Trevor Lawrence. So what's next? As locked in as Sha Khan was on Urban Meyer last offseason, he needs to be just as locked in and fixated on Byron Leftwich. This is as no brainer a hire as there is in this upcoming coach coaching cycle. Okay. Why do you say that? And I'll go so far as to say I'm okay with teams passing on Byron Leftwich up until this point. If Byron Leftwich ends up going home to the team that drafted him in the first round, I believe in 2003. Um, and that's with all due respect to Eric Bieniemy, Kellen Moore, Brian Dayball. Mm -mm. That's your guy. Sha Khan knows it. Anybody with a lick of sense knows it. That's the guy. Because what more does Byron, Byron Leftwich has been? Byron Leftwich is everything that Urban Meyer was not. Right. Byron Leftwich is built to be an NFL head coach. Byron yes, Leftwich has gained the respect of his players. Still one of the most iconic scenes in recent memory 
is Byron Leftwich yeah. at Marshall being carried down the field. Love it. Okay, Byron Leftwich has been a leader of, of men favorite, since he was a young one man. One scenes. of your favorite moments, right? Yeah. Not prime candidate. Let me let me edit that. Let me edit that 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 headline. Should be the candidate. Okay. Should be the candidate. Because when these owners want to, we know they can lock in on their guy. Rooney rule be damned. When they want a guy, they got that's their guy. And that should be Shaq Khan's guy right now. So from Marshall to Jacksonville, through the rest of through what what was the stops? I'm sorry, I don't have it in front of me. Then he have a stop in Baltimore at Pittsburgh. I know at one point, but he's been around the block. Okay, when it comes yeah. to, as a player, but as a coach and as a coordinator, come on, man. Bruce Arians will tell you he's running the offense. Tom Brady will tell you he's running the offense. And even if he's getting input from Bruce Arians and Tom Brady, and great. Tom Brady. That's what you want. Well, right. Somebody who's got exactly. that, 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 that yeah. dust on him. Exactly. Who better to tutor Trevor Lawrence at this point than Byron Leftwich? Give me a better candidate I than like Byron that. Leftwich. I'll wait. I like to take. I like to take. And. It's it's the input, the input. Meaning, you can talk to him. He's got his own ideas. You can talk to him, and he will incorporate the ideas that you have. Collaborative, uh, a guy who has He's got the credibility, position, a guy who knows Jacksonville, who knows the yeah. pros and cons of Jacksonville. You don't have to come in and give him a primer on what Jacksonville is. Jacksonville, let, let's be honest. I mean, it has some challenges as an NFL market. NFL markets in college football country are always uh, going to be tough. You got to do them just right. You got to make the right decisions. That's why and uh, yeah, going back to Shad Khan. That's another reason why Shad Khan was so enamored with Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer just up the road in Florida and Gainesville. Hey, let's bring this college coach this legendary college co college coach into this pro market where a lot of college fans are. It should be a, a good marriage and that's not it. Yeah, you can't just yeah, it should it should have worked throw it in make no like mistake that. about it. Yeah, kind of. Urban Meyer is at fault. But, you know, it should have worked. He didn't want to do the work. You know, why it didn't work though. I told you before like there's a reason Urban Meyer worked at Ohio State and worked at, at all the other college stops and didn't in the NFL. Just think about this and, and it's really goes back to what you said about Trevor Lawrence Trevor Lawrence finding his voice. Trevor mm -hmm. Lawrence what 22 23 years old. Now he's finding it and he's saying after 13 games or 12. He started to say it after like 12 or 13 games in the NFL. Okay, I get it now. Uh, I'm a professional. I'm being paid over the table. Sorry, Clemson. That's a little shot. Um, I'm being paid over the table. So now uh, yeah, yeah, this is my job. I can start talking with a little bass with a little bass in my voice <laughs> in college. Mm -hmm. They don't do that in college. You don't most guys don't do that that urban Meyer figure and it's not just urban, but that urban urban Meyer figure is used to having everybody under his thumb. Sometimes it's the provost. It's the president. It's the athletic director. Uh, it's the strength coach. It's scouts coming on the campus because the head coach sets the terms on when you can come to campus and when you can watch film and they come in and okay talk to me. I'll tell you about this player and then they have those strength coaches talk about those players too. So it's always this element of fear. You're telling 18 and 19 and 20 year old men soon to be men. I control your future. So if you don't do it my that. way, if you don't do it my way. Okay, maybe you don't make it in the NFL or maybe your path to the NFL is a little more circuitous than you wanted it to be and it's not the right way of doing Mike. it. But guys like Urban Meyer are used to it, and you can't do that in the pros. Well, I, well, I'm just glad you said guys like Urban Meyer. Thank you, thank you so much. Because my issue with that is, yeah. huh? What is that? The Urban Meyer type, the Urban Meyer composite. It's Urban Meyer and those like him. Every every college coach well, is not like that. Well, thank you, and that's what what I don't want today to be. And, it, and in some places it is. Today should not be a referendum or a cautionary tale. On college coaches, because everybody wants to talk about how college coaches fail in the NFL. You know who else has failed? You know who else fails in the NFL? Coordinators, NFL guys, right. 
and there have been college yeah. guys that have succeeded in the NFL. Urban Meyer failed not because he's a college coach. Urban Meyer failed because Urban Meyer, because he's a jerk. Because he's he, he, he seems like a bad guy. That's why Urban Meyer failed. Okay, I don't want to hear about, you know, uh, this is about oh he just didn't understand how to how to deal with men versus versus boys or professionals versus so-called amateurs. No, because that presumes that the guys that the guys like a David Shaw or a Mel Tucker, who I know has an NFL background, and there are guys that have gone from NFL to college and back to NFL, but that presumes that they would have failed just as Urban Meyer did, and I don't believe that to be the case. I believe Urban Meyer failed for reasons that are specific to Urban Meyer, just as Bobby Petrino quit for reasons that were specific to Bobby Petrino. I don't no. like painting with a broad oh, yeah. brush these college coaches. No, no, so, they don't represent. I'm telling you no, right they, now, they don't represent. The, the, they don't. Because I'm telling you right now, coach. if Nick Saban, if Nick Saban got the itch again, if David Shaw wanted to leave Stanford, if Dabo Sweeney decided I've done enough at Clemson, and if Mel Tucker wanted to come back to the NFL from Michigan State, if I'm an owner, I'm giving him an opportunity if I find them to be the best candidate after carefully vetting them. I'm not holding college against them because Urban Meyer didn't work out. Urban Meyer did not work out because he didn't want to work. He didn't want to re he didn't want to evolve. He didn't want to adjust. And that's that hubris we've been talking about. All college coaches and I'm, again, I'm glad you said that all college coaches don't roll like that. Well, I tried to counsel him. I tried to counsel him. He ain't listen. I, okay, look, look, the people you mentioned are bad fits. I, I don't know about Mel Tucker. I'm saying the first two guys you, you mentioned Nick Saban. I and mentioned Dabble David Sweeney. Shaw. Oh, Nick, I okay. mentioned David Shaw, Dabo Sweeney, Nick Saban. I know what happened okay, in Miami just, with Nick Saban. I know exactly what happened in Miami with Nick Saban. It's not about Miami. It's not about Miami okay. with, with, with Saban. Ahead. It's, it's, you can't, it's really difficult. And, and I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying I completely blame somebody in this position. Uh, it, it may, maybe I need to broaden it. I'll, I'll broaden the conversation a little bit because it will be, it will sound less judgmental, right? And, and, it's, and this is genuine. If if I were ever em emperor for a decade, and now I gotta come off the throne, I've gotta give up the empire, and kind of go back and be collaborative and answer to somebody, and mm -hmm. just not and not just snap my fingers and have things be done, and just say or and not just we're not doing that. And then it's over. Or wait a minute, the owner of the team, the, the owner of the team wants to come talk to me and asking me questions yeah. and saying that's not good enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa! If I if I'm ten years or fifteen years in to a job making millions of dollars and I've never I haven't had that in fifteen years and then I got to do sure. it, I I, I, I might not, struggle with that. Okay. So I think those guys will Just, struggle with it too. Well, I think it's not and about that's fair. We don't disagree. We don't necessarily disagree. Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.